everybody welcome back to the featured show featuring me featured ninja back with another episode of life is strange so i was able to get the uh third episode today so we're gonna go ahead and see what happens uh, it looked from like from the preview it looked like max and clover you're gonna be poking around the school after dark so we're gonna see what happens with that so let's see play episodes episode three chaos theory we already got a viewer radio the gamer what's up dude thank you for tuning in thank you so much in the previous episodes of life is strange film little pieces of time I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! I like how it does totally this, like... You have saved my life. So it's like a catch-up. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> We're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise, you're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everyone. Miss Coffey, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? That's right, yeah. We couldn't save Kate. No, yeah, that was sad. And then, uh, I remember I we couldn't save Kate. That, that, that really bummed me out. But... We, uh, I almost forgot that we blamed Nathan Prescott. Wish we could have saved Kate. I really do. Should have answered her call. She probably never would have jumped off the roof. Later, Radio Gamer. Take it easy. Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Alright, let's get on with it, come on. Kate! Uh, I know, I'd be so upset about Kate too if I were Max. It's almost like it's all my fault. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Guys, guys, I if you look at the stream. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Alright. Um, if you look at the stream, the time on her phone was 1134. And if you look at 1134 upside down, it spells hell. So... Yeah, it's like spooky stuff. Good things probably aren't gonna happen in this episode, but or in this part of Life is Strange, but we'll find out. Let's see what's on our laptop. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. 
Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. Okay. Arcadia Bay Online News. Black Bull student commits suicide on campus. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. A student at the prestigious... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy jumped to her death today from the roof of a campus dormitory with most of the student faculty as horrified witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the victim, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled but information is scarce at, is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the tragic event which included the unidentified student attempting to talk to the victim, attempt, attempting to talk the victim down. Click here for video footage graphic and further details. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. It's really upsetting that we can't click there for further details and like watch the graphic video, but I guess we already saw it, so whatever. Okay, missing persons list. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of the following missing persons, Please immediately contact the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Rachel Amber, missing since... <coughs> ooh, ooh, mm. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. Mm. Ah. That kind of just, like, popped up out of nowhere. I'm sorry, but anyway. Uh, Rachel Amber, missing since April 22nd, 2013. Elton Kessie, or Kesey, missing since um, November 10th, 2001. Well, he's dead. Ms. Melissa Lee Grayson, missing since uh, March 22nd, 97. Yeah, she's dead too. Winston Smith, missing since uh, June 8th, 84. Yeah, he's, all these people, these people are definitely dead. Sunshine Ray, Sunshine Ray real name unknown, missing since December 14th, 1973. Hmm. Okay, yeah, well, all those people are definitely dead or have a different life by now. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Oh, man. Yeah, that really sucks about Kate. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. Did I feed that thing? Only watered it like twice. Oh, let's feed this rat. Are you a hungry bunny? Yes. Oh, it's Not a bunny. Mouse. That was a mouse. Hey, bunny. Don't be too bummed, but from now on... Oh, that must have been Cage uh, Rabbit. Let's turn on the light. Oh, I thought we were okay, using the mirror, but we went outside. Dark. Let there be. Light, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we were gonna use the mirror. Oh well. What does it say? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Hmm. Wherever you go, there I am. Oh my gosh. So much hypocrite. I'm sorry, Kate. We love you. Rest in peace. Oh. So much hypocrite. You can't read that. Uh, some of those. Rest in peace. We love you, Katie. Yeah, I, I, a lot of those are just, yeah, no, people just acting sad. God. That's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Acting sad like they... I don't know. When they were really the ones that probably did it. Dana's really hurting over this. I miss your light, Kate. What's up, Dana? Dana looks so sad. Even though she's trying not to show it. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Um... I guess we're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. 
Not you, Max. You were close to her. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it really doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Yeah, exactly. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being me. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Hmm. Yeah, it's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. The people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. What? Should we go back and... Say something different? Hey, Dana. I just can't stop thinking. Um... What if we say blame Victoria? Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Mm, yeah, it wouldn't stop her. It wouldn't stop because her. Because Victoria was still going to torture Kate with that video. I know. He could have blown it off, but she was too damn nice and innocent. Dana. There's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex. So what? You think this? And well, what happens if we say not sure yet? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. What? Victoria? Not me. Uh, I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. I'm not, uh, I like what we said before. We're gonna go back to that. Hey Dana, I just can't. We're all responsible. Think, not you. We're not gonna go with the only one, that seems mean. Uh, well let's tell her she was nice. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more. So what exactly? You think that? Yeah, where's I like that I'm answer. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared. Yeah. What? Not. I me. like that answer. All right, now let's get out of here. Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. I'm going through her shit. Uh, leave the girls' dormitories. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Can we sit on the bench? Oh, let's sit on the bench for a second. Ah. Yeah, we're gonna get up. Oh, hey, look at this. Well, that's nice. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Yeah, I know. It really sucks, but at least that's a nice little memorial, I guess. Um, I Wells. Are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Is he gonna get up and go away? Sorry. So we keep Barch's families in mourning. We'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place black hell. <laughs> That's sad. Okay, we got some messages from Chloe. Oh we got it. oh let's look at this one from Warren. 
Hey Max, don't want to bother you, just checking in to see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anybody else could have to help Kate. I'm proud of you, and please, no worries about going to the drive-in. If you still want to escape to a planet of apes, let's go. And if you need to talk, I'm always here. XO. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Nathan got suspended. At least talk to you later, okay? Or I'll call you later, okay? Okay, and the private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know you sleep. Hey, whore. Femin... Femina... Feminazis? Will be exterminated. Watch out. Feminazis. Oh, feminazis. Well, oh, there we go. I was like, what? <laughs> feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. <laughs> Fuck Nathan. Okay, mom. It was good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for your friend when she had nobody else, and Kate made her choice on her own, or made her own choice. Nobody could expect m more than what you did. You're our hero, and we love you so much. Ma oh, we love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime you need to talk or visit. And Chloe. Yeah, I have something to show you. Meet me in front of the campus. Get that ass in gear now. And Max. Is he still sitting here? Um. Can we go like back around or something? The back way? Take the long way around campus. Oh, you know what? Oh, the most magical insects. I know. I got an Run idea. Away. We'll try that uh, teleport or whatever they called it. Before he came and. He's him. lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except Max the Ninja strikes again. Oh, Alright, yeah. Like, it just kind of hit me. I was like, wait, no, we're not going to go around. We're going to see about this. There we go. The teleportation thing, whatever they called it. Okay. So, oh. Get it? Fuck Ooh, you. yeah. Like a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're here for me? Um, I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... aggravated it. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Um, let's see, okay. Uh... Well, the chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? Yeah. I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? Oh, maybe? Chloe, 
I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um... We were talking about Kate. But... I think... Well, let's just... Yeah, Rachel's good. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with. She was able to blend in with everybody. The only people I know. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it alive. Then... Um, I think, I don't think she's kicking it. Oh, we got uh, another viewer. Thank you so much for tuning in to the featured show. Please feel free to interact in the comments below. Um, I think she's alive. I, I honestly, guys, I really think she's dead, but I don't want to make Chloe mad or sad or anything. We're just going to go with alive. But honestly, I think Rachel's probably dead. Alive? I have to think. Excuse me for a second. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Okay. We have to. I promise you, you will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Brick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Either way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time, I'm so glad you're here. So much for helping me to get back to the Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime this week after soon. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Kate? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Uh, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? <laughs> it doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked the winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say anything. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that in disguise threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm. Wait! I only... Are you kidding me? Oh my god, she is trying to fuck him like so bad. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more in. She was about to get real with my call. Let's go find out. Like for real, she wants his D. <laughs> I mean, she is like so thirsty for it. She's like gonna act like she's like upset about Kate and all that, the and then you know it. yeah, she wants to run off to San Francisco with him. Dude, what a bitch! I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. 
Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Okay, let's look at all the things there is to look at in here. Oh, can we get something from here? No. Alright. <laughs> Chloe's like a punk rock bitch. For real, she don't even, like, she don't give a fuck about nothing. There's no way Baby would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Okay, what does this say? Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in the campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly, peti with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition, or red act, I hope you will red act this petition petition and consider the hu the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the late with the latest and safe or in safe and private security sincerely Madsen David oh man I stuttered through that wow sorry guys okay well yeah he's like still mad about that so we'll see what happens if we're gonna get surveillance tapes or not or cameras I mean what else can we look at Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Okay. <laughs> Can we like get into the school system and like change all our grades to A's? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Why wouldn't she know something about lockpicking? Alright, well, let's look. For the key, Nothing just in yet. case she doesn't know anything about lock picking and breaks the door or something. Dead end. Boring. I don't know what Frank could teach anybody about anything. Crap. But whatever. Okay, let's keep looking. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for me. We have to find another way in. I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has me. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble heart, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. We better go out Success. with them after this. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, so what does his message say?
Okay. Let's just go all the way back up. Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Here's how you'll do it. Sugar in the chlorate, soda can, and... I don't know what that is. Something, something, boom. Let you duct tape it all together, then it goes boom. Then, any questions? Sodium chlorate, what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So you're really gonna try this? Keyword is try. I pal to your wisdom. Okay. So sugar and duct tape. What are we gonna find like sugar and duct tape and stuff? Warren is such a classic name. Let's see if I can find those items. Oh well I know we'll, we're we're gonna get a soda can. Release the crack can. The crack can? You're dumb. It's all mine anyway. Okay. Only three more items to go. Your party days are over. Um. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Okay, we gotta find duct tape and... Maybe Kate started a revolution. Don't be left out. Flush the Vortex Club. Vortex Club sucks. Vortex turd. Kate Marsh powered. Pray for Kate. Vertex Club. Tilt Kate. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Uh, Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? Um. First Rachel and now Kate. Do they have tape this back is the here? end of the Vortex Club. Practical chemistry, Warren Graham, B minus. Oh, sugar. Mm, Thank sugar. you. You're halfway home, Max. Ass biology. Oh, gross. Oh, <laughs> gross. Uh, we got a message from Warren. What does it say? Uh, okay. You still here? Did you blow up, <laughs> Max? Still here. Didn't blow up. Not yet. Need to concentrate. Talk to you later. Okay, uh, periodic table. Periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Oh, there's some graffiti here. What does it say? I never said they were great, troll. Max. I never said they were great. Takes shitty selfies. Oh. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. We're gonna take a picture anyway. Good evening, Bishops. Just fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. All right, we'll turn it off now. Please resume your slumber. Okay. Oh, let's look at the chemistry stuff. Not a scientist, but this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Okay, how are we gonna get it? It's gonna fall and break. <coughs> you know you're clumsy, Max. 
Don't waste your rebound. Use the damn chair. For real, yeah, just use the chair, Max. Okay, now we just gotta find the duct tape. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I don't think the tape's gonna be in here. Your locker looks so lonely. Okay, it's locker that's set. Oh, maybe the tape's in here. Oh, this is just the back end of the chemistry room. Um, where's like the janitor's closet? Well, what's in here? Maybe we'll find tape. This is like a scene in a horror film. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Tape, tape, tape. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Whatever, like tape? Okay, oh, even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Mm. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Took a picture of the doctor after he couldn't save somebody? That's pretty sad. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. I thought we used some tape. tape in Jefferson's class last week. The tape is mine. All right, now we can now go it's back. Now show Chloe that Max is the bomb. And blow up the door. Wait, no, no, it was this way. Do, 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 do. Okay. This way. Okay. In here. So let's Take make this bomb. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literal. Yes. Time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. I can't believe Get we're actually gonna blow the us. door up. What is wrong with us? Can't rewind time. Can we go look? Uh, should we run away? Shit! Shit! Do something, Max. Oh, fine. We'll go back to right before we did, and we'll t try and talk Chloe out of blowing the door up. See if that works. Um. Take it easy on the door. Oh, nope. Okay, we couldn't talk her out of it. What can we do? Oh, we can come in here. Is there anything we can take? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Is there gotta be something we can find? I'm not really getting it. Oh, oh. 
We can't open these things? Oh, okay, now we're just gonna open the door. <laughs> Chloe's pissed. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, he'd still be a black Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, Chris sure. Will it's Chloe. ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, Kate, Nathan. Anyway, I'm on the case. Oh, now I gotta find the clues. Okay, let's look at this. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Oh man, that is a lot of stuff to read. Okay, let's get up real close to get this. Student information sheet, Kate Beverly Marsh, GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best in the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay 7 News and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school's nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or, psych or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our, our, eyes, on our, our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Dorenci. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded on, onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. That was a ma Oh, man, that was a lot. So, did you blow the, the lock Unabomber? Oh please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. More files to go. Okay, what else do we got here? I certainly can't use this. Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Oh, here we go. Look at this pile. Oh. Look at this pile. Nope, oh, okay. What's this? Weeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Student information sheet. Nathan Joshua Prescott. GPA 3.7. Brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. <laughs> For real. Student information sheet, Maxine Caulfield. Oh, we don't have a middle name. Okay. GPA 2.8, pretty stupid. 
<laughs> GPA pretty fucking dumb. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, brief summary. Max, okay, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a, a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back her back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent co confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop a fellow stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police slash faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Student information sheet, Victoria Marabeth Chase. 3.9 GPA, so she's pretty smart. Or that or she fucks all the teachers because she's a fucking stupid skank whore. Okay, let's see. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy. A student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high mark from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. <laughs> okay. Warren Graham, 4.0 GPA. Would that be minus? All right. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Mrs. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nap. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Oh man, okay. Student information sheet, Rachel Dawn Amber. Update, unfortunately Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present underwear her present underwear of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has a de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's le legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope that we always hope for that one magic clue. But once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but th that's all we can do for now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay Police Department. Okay, so they're done looking for her. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Yeah, you know, let's look at Chloe's. Student information sheet, Chloe Elizabeth Price, GPA. Fucking dumber than we are. <laughs> okay, so Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is, and is often willful, willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-monetary institution. 
Colby Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Police reports? Oh my gosh. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Um, okay, well, let's look at this stuff on the desk. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Okay, from Sean Prescott. Okay. Principal Wells, in light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tra tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Fucking asshole. Okay. What a dick. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as principal, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the install, installation of new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in the school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial natures of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion in inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they feel empowered by the outcome of the petition, best Principal Wells. Okay, cool, so there's not going to be any surveillance cameras, which could be a bad thing, especially if, like, we want Nathan Prescott to be caught doing stuff. I don't know. We'll find out later. That is so cool no, not that. that. Actually this. Counted. You're not so tacky at close. Okay, Chloe. Max? You better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's what? Fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Yeah, I think Listen so too. To this. David M always asks what's going on in my head. David M always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you are. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife shook hand yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecture. Yeah, no, come on, don't... Chloe, no, don't fucking take... The money from the handicapped people. That is just so fucked up. What the hell? What? 
Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking night elf slut bitch looking like a fucking night elf with your fucking blue hair? Leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicap fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, man. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Hmm. Um, all right, guys, you know what? Let's see. Where's the last checkpoint? Uh, let's see where the last checkpoint was. Hope it wasn't too far away. Because I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and leave the school in the next episode because we're running close to an hour here. It's all the way here. Oh, you're kidding. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no oh, clue and I can't skip it. it. Oh my gosh. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, oh I can my see gosh. The principal locks wow. This room up. Fancy Thor crap. Well, that really I sucks. <laughs> anyway, guys, so, um, well. Like I said, we'll go ahead and we're gonna go. We're gonna leave the school in the next episode. How can you trust somebody who has um, a fucking bronze bird in his office? Try and just totally ignore them because I'm talking. Yes, uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave the school in the next episode, and I'll go ahead and go through all of this. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly Before, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go through all this so that it says leave the school building right there. Okay, sure. When we start up the next great, episode. Damn, is it a cozy thing? So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the featured show. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video at any point. Also, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment if you want. Uh, I'll read and respond to all comments that aren't nasty or hateful. And also, go ahead and uh, like hit that red subscribe button. I've been saying yellow subscribe button because it it's just I'm I'm used to being yellow, but uh, it's. I, I forgot that it's red now, so hit that red subscribe button for me because it shows me that you guys like to see the content I put out and it makes me want to put out more content. So anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on, uh, next time on Life is Strange. Take it easy guys. Bye bye.